Hi, I'm Dane from the Load UI team. In this video, I'll show you how to create a really basic load test, perfect if you're just getting started with Load UI. Let's begin. This is the first view you'll see when you open Load UI, the workspace view. So here you have your projects. But right now, we're going to create a new project. In this video, we're going to create a really basic load test. So I'm going to use a web page runner. And what this does is it issues a basic HTTP GET request. So I'll enter the URL and I'll click run once to see that it works. As you can see, the request completed successfully. Now let's add some load generation to this. From our virtual user generators, I'll select the fixed rate generator. And I'll connect it to our web page runner. And now we can start the test. I'll just click on the play button. And we can see that the test is running, issuing requests. While the test is running, I can change the rate by turning this knob or double clicking it and entering a fixed value. And we can now see that the web page runner is actually sending requests at 100 requests per second. Now let's look at some statistics. I'll click on the statistic workbench button to open the statistics workbench. and it'll go into the current run. So here you can see that it's quite empty, but as soon as I add the web page runner, it shows us some default charts. And you can go in and change the scale of these, or the style, and you can even see that if I now change the rate, that's instantly reflected in the charts. Now once we're done playing with this load test, I'll start the, stop the test by clicking the stop button. Once that's completed, I can of course view the history of the chart. And going back to the main window, I can also generate a summary report of the test. So this shows us vital information about the test, such as the duration, number of requests, and so on. And that's a very simple load test in LoadUI.